Catholic Morning Prayer for October 18, 2024 Friday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time Morning Offering In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, I offer you this day, with all its joys, challenges, and opportunities. May everything I think, say, and do be for your glory and for the good of others. I unite my heart with the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary, asking for your grace and guidance as I navigate today's tasks. Help me to reflect your love in all my actions. Amen. Thanksgiving Prayer for the New Day Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of this new day. I am grateful for your countless blessings and the opportunity to serve you and those around me. Fill my heart with gratitude as I begin this day and help me to recognize your presence in every moment. May I be open to the grace you provide and ready to follow your will. Through Christ, my Lord. Amen. Morning Psalm. Psalm 71 verses 1 to 6. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, rescue me and deliver me. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge to which I can always go. Give the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of those who are evil and cruel. For you have been my hope, sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. Scripture readings. First reading, 2 Timothy 4 verses 10 to 17. For Demas, because he loved this world, has deserted me and has gone to Thessalonica. Crescens has gone to Galatia and Titus to Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Get Mark and bring him with you, because he is helpful to me in my ministry. I sent Tychicus to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak that I left with Carpus at Troas and my books, especially the parchments. Alexander the metalworker did me a great deal of harm. The Lord will repay him for what he has done. You too should be on your guard against him, because he strongly opposed our message. At my first defense, no one came to my support, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them, but the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength, so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was delivered from the lion's mouth. The Word of the Lord. Gospel Reading Luke 10 verses 1 to 9 After this, the Lord appointed seventy-two others and sent them two by two ahead of him to every town and place where he was about to go. He told them, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Go, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Do not take a purse or bag or sandals, and do not greet anyone on the road. When you enter a house, first say, peace to this house. If someone who promotes peace is there, your peace will rest on them. If not, it will return to you. Stay there, eating and drinking whatever they give you. For the worker deserves his wages. Do not move around from house to house. When you enter a town and are welcomed, eat what is offered to you. Heal the sick who are there and tell them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection. Today's readings invite us to reflect on perseverance in faith and the call to evangelization. In 2 Timothy 4 verses 10 to 17, Paul shares his personal struggles and the challenges he faces as he nears the end of his ministry. He speaks of those who have deserted him, including Demas, who loved the world. Despite the abandonment he experiences, Paul remains steadfast, relying on the Lord's strength to continue proclaiming the gospel. This passage encourages us to persevere in our faith, even when we face difficulties or when those around us may falter. The reminder that the Lord stood by Paul and strengthened him invites us to trust in God's unwavering presence in our lives. In Luke 10 verses 1 to 9, Jesus sends out the 72 disciples, commissioning them to prepare the way for his ministry. He emphasizes the urgency of the mission highlighting the plentiful harvest and the need for workers. Jesus instructs them to rely on God's provision, showing that true discipleship involves trust and dependence on Him. 
This passage reminds us of our call to share the gospel, to bring peace and healing to those around us, and to actively participate in the mission of the church. As we hear Jesus' words, we are encouraged to consider how we can contribute to the mission of spreading God's love and grace in our communities. Together, these readings encourage us to remain faithful, trusting in God's strength as we respond to his call to evangelize. Let us ask for the grace to persevere in our faith and to share the message of Christ with joy and courage. Act of Consecration to Our Lady O Mary, my Queen and my Mother, I give myself entirely to you, and to show my devotion to you. I consecrate to you this day, my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my whole being without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am your own, keep me and guard me, as your property and possession. Amen. Acts of faith, hope, and charity. Act of faith. O oh my God, I firmly believe that you are one God in three divine persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe that your divine Son became man and died for our sins, and that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches, because you have revealed them, who can neither deceive nor be deceived. Act of Hope O oh my God, relying on your almighty power, infinite mercy and promises, I hope to obtain pardon for my sins, the help of your grace, and life everlasting through the merits of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer. Act of charity, O oh my God, I love you above all things with my whole heart and soul, because you are all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of you. I forgive all who have injured me, and I ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Intercessory Prayers Heavenly Father, I lift up these prayers to you, trusting in your love and mercy for the church, that she may be a faithful witness to the gospel, sending out workers to bring God's love to all. I pray to the Lord. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who feel abandoned in their faith, that they may find strength and encouragement through the love of God and the support of the community, I pray to the Lord. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. For families, that they may nurture a spirit of faith, hope, and love within their homes, I pray to the Lord. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that we may embrace our call to evangelize and trust in God's provision as we serve others, I pray to the Lord. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions, pause for a moment to offer your personal prayers. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, assist me by your powerful intercession, and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ, our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. Amen. Prayer to my guardian angel, angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace,
the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Act of Thanksgiving. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time of prayer and for the grace to reflect on your word. I am grateful for your love, your guidance, and the many blessings you have bestowed upon me. Help me to live this day in gratitude and to share your love with those around me. Through Christ, my Lord, I offer you my heart and soul. Amen. Resolution for the day. Today, I resolve to trust in God's provision and to actively participate in sharing his love with others. Concluding Prayer Loving Father, as I conclude this time of prayer, I ask for your grace to guide me through this day. Help me to walk in your truth, to serve others with a generous heart, and to reflect your love in all my actions. May I be a faithful witness to your goodness and mercy. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless and protect me today. May he guide my thoughts, words, and actions. And may I always seek to live in his love and peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.